Welcome back to Let's Play Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we have a big problem. Helga von Bulau has mutated into a hideous beast. And it seems she's even better at killing BJ than her elite guard minions. So, uh... I'm going to put a jump cut here, and then we're going to follow it with the victorious attempt over evil here. <sighs> here goes! Here we go. This is the first attempt since the jump cut. the pillars. Huh. Oh, I'm stuck. Nope, 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 nope. Running. What the hell was that? Oh, that's what. You know what? I'm including that. <sighs> I'm going to include that one, actually. I guess here's another jump cut, just in case. Okay. I wish I had a flashlight or something. But F is the interact button, so I know it's not that. Welcome to the party, Helga! Okay, we're running and reloading. Keep the out of this. The grown ups are talking. God, I hate that sound. Oh no, my ammo. I mean, okay.
no. Run. Ha! You done fucked up, Helga. I'll just chill right here. Got three clips left. I'm sorry, three magazines left. Make him count. See you in hell. That was weird. Eliminated. Fucking save. Okay, this is going to be really satisfying. Oh, oh, it's delicious. Wow! That ammo didn't go as far as I expected it to. Shit, you need to, like, put it out to here to get full ammo. Still, that's a pretty good number. Hey, 55 health and 173 extra bullets. I could do worse. Huh, I guess you can't actually open the door, even if you do make the jump at the beginning of the level. Huh. They actually made a, a, a separate model with a bullet hole in the gut. Or maybe it's a decal. Wait. Huh. Well, that's just confusing. It gave me the check mark for, uh,. Eliminate Helga von Bulau when I defeated that thing. You know what? Cutscene. Skipped quite a bit there, but okay. Office of Secret Actions. Okay, that's what that stands for. I wonder if that was a real thing. Well, gentlemen, it's been 48 hours since our man Blaskowitz returned from Castle Wolfenstein. That's given us ample time to digest his findings. Findings which are, to say the least, astonishing. That's an understatement, sir. The question I'm putting to you all now is this. What are the Nazis really up to? Well, sir, to put it bluntly, I don't think we know enough to answer that question. Really? But don't get me wrong. We've learned plenty about their capabilities. That alone scares the hell out of me. Here, here. But... Yes, Jack? Well, there are two things that still bother me. Exactly what is this dark night they all seem to be so interested in? Well, what did our research come up with? Nothing. A complete blank. Well, it's obviously more of their jiggery-pokery raising the ghoulies rot. What's the second thing, Jack? The second thing is Death's Head. Now, here we have probably the single most dangerous figure in the entire Third Reich, and still, we don't have a clue about his connection to all of this. Death's head. Haven't our sources placed him at the secret rocket base in Catamarundi? Well, that's correct. In fact, as luck would have it, our man Blaskowitz is headed there now. He is? Yes. His orders are to infiltrate and sabotage the entire V-weapons complex. 
With any luck, he might even get his hands on the latest experimental Cobra. The Cobra rocket plane? The very one. That's exciting news, sir. So, uh, what would you say, Jack, to my instructing our man to keep his eyes and ears open for any links to projects involving the, uh, paranormal? I would say that was an excellent idea, sir. I feel like that fade out, it's about five times too slow. <laughs> Mission 3, Weapons of Vengeance. Part 1, Forest Compound. Death's Head, oh that reminds me, the most dangerous man in... Are you forgetting the guy whose face is on paintings all over the place? Whatever. Uh, Death Set has been tracked to a remote rocket base located near the Baltic coast, where he intends to fire a V-2 rocket at London, fitted with some kind of new chemical warhead. Hmm. I don't like that. Uh, your only viable method of infiltration is to stow away aboard a supply truck bound for the base. You will parachute into the outlying forest area, armed only with your knife and silenced sin. Hmm. Don't like that. I'm sure I'll find an MP40 quickly. Uh, the rest of your gear will be deployed separately. Oh, okay, in two drop containers. In one of them, you will find the new OSA M1S Snooper rifle, which has been shown to be highly effective for long-range covert wet work. Due to the fact that this weapon uses very specialized ammunition, we can only issue you with a limited amount. Ooh. Also, due to its experimental nature, it's imperative that you recover this item, lest it fall into enemy hands. The area is lightly guarded, uh, but there are alarm stations scattered throughout. If any alarms are sounded, the base will be alerted and the mission will be scrubbed. If you encounter any el enemies, eliminate them before they can sound an alarm. Remember, do not eliminate the final guard who controls access into the compound. If you do, the supply truck will not be able to get inside the rocket base. Objectives. Infiltrate supply compound. Stow away aboard supply truck bound for rocket base. Ensure that no alarms are sounded, and recover OSA M1S Snooper rifle. Hmm. Don't wait to get started, says my laws and trapper. So? Well, this is nice! I wonder what country this is in. I didn't recognize the name of the area they name-dropped in the, uh... Yeah, nothing else. Okay, just checking. I remember something about the Sten gun. I think that was the standard-issue rifle for Canadian forces. I think! Or no, wait, I'm thinking of something else. I might be thinking of the Bren gun from World War One. I don't know. I thought I was thinking of something. I remember hearing that the standard issue rifle for Canadians, I think in World War One, was so terrible that uh, field sergeants straight up gave the advice, if you find a dead enemy soldier, take his gun. Oh right. Fuck. Fuck shit. Well, I missed that. I really think we should go investigate. Look, do whatever you want. I have to post this watch schedule in the next 20 minutes. The lieutenant will have my head. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> that man is no longer alive. Which means he is no longer a threat. <coughs> that I took damage from that, but okay. Uh... Okay, yeah, good. Still SS logos. For a second, I thought I shot a GI. Huh, look at all that junk on his back. 
That looks like a bedroll. Uh, that could be binoculars or a canteen. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, I think this must be a shovel. You know, for uh, entrenchment. Anything else? I don't know what that can is. Maybe that's where they put the, the field rations. Or do they carry those on themselves? I don't know. You might have noticed from this earlier, this very conversation, that I don't seem to know shit about fuck all. Oh. Too embarrassing. Oh, that's funny. I didn't notice that before. Oh, that's not where I came in. That's where I need to go. Interesting. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm not coming back. Colt. Huh. That's a nice sound effect. 45 caliber. Ah. It wasn't even fully loaded. You know, one of my uh, complaints with this game was, uh... I don't know, the weapon... The early weapons didn't sound very good. Or maybe I was just thinking of the Luger. I thought... Hmm, I thought this sounded wimpier than it does. Oh, it's just a big pile of dirt. Why is there a big pile of dirt? There isn't, like, a trench out here. At least not one that hasn't been here for long enough to have grass fully fill it in. Well, fully cover it, I should say. Oh, right. This is a sneaking mission. I wonder if they'd be able to perceive dead bodies. Well, they can perceive that. F9, 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 damn you! Keep going. This is the only path I can take. So that's a dead end. Someone there? No. Fire. It wouldn't matter if I could. Shit! This is going to be a ball egg. Oh, I am swimming. I can tell because I can't sprint. Get your gun out, soldier! There, I'm on the other side of the damn pond. Progress! Yay! That guy needs to die. The fucking Luftwaffe here, too. I need to get closer and shoot that guy in the tower. Hmm. 
so this isn't where the thing is going off. Oh, criminy. No, no, I was over there. Thank you very much. So, sorry, I was just distracted. As I realized that when I walk forward, the gun bobs with the same movement pattern as the, uh, as Adrian Brody in Brody Quest. Complete with a pause in the middle. <laughs> Fucking Brody Quest. There's a dated reference for you. Where the hell is the button someone is pushing? Oh, this is a ball ache. So let me get this straight. You sent me on a sneaking mission and you dropped a Colt behind enemy lines. But you did not include a silencer. God damn it, I felt better equipped in the last level. That was without the snooper rifle. Oh, right. Fuck it, I'll just put this guy's clothes on. See, they're not even bloody. And if American forces show up, I'll just take my shirt off and it'll be great. Like the old days. <laughs> Shirtless action heroes. Spot stabbing! I'm not gonna go over the auto save. Stealth in all capital letters, because that's the kind of subtlety I go for. Oh, actually, there's a save, uh, the timer right there, so I'm also going to save over Eren, because it's at the top of the list. Bonk. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Return to Castle Wolfenstein when I continue fighting my way through the enemy hordes. Later. Scratch that. Um, tune in next time when I continue sneaking my way past the enemy hordes. <laughs> Later.